Good morning. How is everybody? I am feeling so so today. Um, what happened? So, like I said, I fainted yesterday. Um, and I slept from about eight o'clock last night until seven o'clock this morning. Um, I think I was just, ex well, who knows? I'm not a doctor, but I've had a good sleep. I did, however, wake up with a very sore knee. Um, so as my mum informed me when I fell, um, my leg was like twisted back. Um, and up until like during the night, I never really felt anything, didn't notice it. And then I think being asleep and it being still, then I was like, actually this knee is pretty painful. So I've got, oh, I need to take painkillers with me. I need to take painkillers with me to our day today. So today we're off to the Vatican. Um, so that's where we're heading. First, we're gonna go get some breakfast and we're gonna go get some pastries first to make sure I eat. Um, then we're gonna get the bus over to the Vatican, walk over to the Vatican, and then our plan is to do the Vatican, walk back over, have a little wander around, and then head to Spanish Depths, Trevi Fountain, and just have a wander really today after the Vatican. Today the weather is meant to be glorious as it has been. I have got my hat on, I've got my sunglasses, I've got sun cream, I've got water, I've got Coke, for sugar and we have some Werther's Originals. Okay, plus we're gonna make sure we eat. So hopefully, fingers crossed, today goes better than yesterday. So just something we found really handy the last couple of days is we got these water bottles. Um, I got them for the trip because they have this like carabiner clip on them, which means you can have them outside your bag. They're really easy and it takes up less room in your bag and just really easily accessible, especially when you've got a backpack on. So I thought that was a really good really useful and I got one for mum and one for I and they've just been they have come in really useful this trip. <laughs>
to St. Peter's Square. That's the Basilica in front. Then we come out of the Vatican there. That is incredible. It is hot. We are looking for somewhere to have a drink. Spanish steps, super super busy, and we need to figure out how to get to the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain, yeah, we're gonna try and get closer for that trip. that is a wrap on day three here in Rome fully aware I've not spoken very much at all and I am trying to get better than that I'll be better at doing that today has just been very full-on we have what we've we done today um so we got up went and got some breakfast we went to Starbucks in the train station to get just like a pastry just so we could eat something um had some fruit as well so we did that got on the hop on hop off bus for the nine o'clock departure and we used it to get around to the stop by the vatican which is stop six and then it was about a 20 minute walk um from the stop to where we met our tour um our tour was 11 and i think we got there at about 20 past 10 um, so they said to come back in, at quarter to 11. So we just popped to a nearby cafe um, and had a soft drink whilst we waited. And they were really friendly um, and really just well priced, you know, like standard pricing. Um, so we did that. We then did our Vatican, Sistine, Cha Vatican and Sistine Chapel tour and it was interesting um we would probably have liked to be able to stop and look at things but the vatican was insanely busy um yesterday when we were doing our coliseum tour um our tour guide ava said that thirty thousand people a day visit the coliseum and i've got I, it must be more than that that visit the vatican because there was a two hour line, a queue for two hours outside if you didn't have tickets. And all the people that had tickets, whether you were in a group or whether you pre-booked your tickets, you were just going in and you could not move at some point. It was so busy. And 
you just weren't allowed to stop in some places. So it was very much the guide was talking, but he was just constantly moving and you couldn't really take anything in, which was a shame. The things we did see, it was really interesting. It was, you know, it was amazing. Kept yeah, amazing how they've kept everything um, and how in great condition some items are. And the, the you know, the paintings, um, the sculptures, the tapestries, it was all incredible. We would have just liked to be able to actually stop and appreciate and admire those pieces. Um, so after that, we then, so that was a three hour tour. Um, there is, I will just warn you, it's currently 30 degrees in Rome. There is limited air conditioning in the Vatican. And with the amount of people that's being sort of churned through, it is very hot. Um, I was very conscious of the fact that when, given that I fainted yesterday, um, kept hydrated, um, and where there was air conditioning, I found it and sort of embraced the air conditioning. So just be aware. There's also a lot of steps. If you have any mobility impairments, then just be aware of that. And it's very cobbly. There's cobblestones everywhere. We're given the opportunity to go into St. Saint Peter's Basilica and we had skipped the line tickets. But at this point, we just thought it was gone two o'clock and we thought the best thing to do was to go and get something to eat um, because the sun was just beating down and we didn't want to repeat of yesterday. Um, so... We went and had lunch on the square and we went to a really nice restaurant that apparently only opened yesterday or very recently. Very recent, was it today? Oh, it might have been today. But it was it was a beautiful restaurant, very modern inside, air conditioning and beautiful views of the St. Mark's Square. So we had that, we had, I had ravioli, mum had lasagna. And then we had ice cream and oh my goodness, the ice cream was so good for dessert. It was sort of one, so we had one scoop was hazelnut mm -hmm. and the other scoop was like a Nutella. Basically it's a Ferrero Rocher in an ice cream. It was so good and such a good portion. So we had that for lunch and then we decided to walk back to um, and have a wander down some of the streets sort of back in Rome because Vat the Vatican is its own state. So we were not in Rome at that time. Um, so we went back and we went and got some ice cream or some sorbet. Um, and then we headed back to the hop on hop off bus and decided we would do sort of a full loop rather than going straight to Spanish steps and the Trevi Fountain. So we did a whole loop of the tour and then when it next got to the Spanish step stop, we decided to get off and walk to see the Spanish steps. Everything is so busy here in Rome. So unless you're there at like the first light of the day, it's going to be busy. So just be prepared for that. So we walked, we did the Spanish steps and then we walked to the Trevi Fountain which was insanely busy. Um, so we just, we took our photos and left and then we walked back about 25 minutes from the Trevi Fountain to our hotel and just had dinner at the sort of restaurant next to our hotel. It's not in our hotel, just next to it. And then we've just come back, we've packed. I've done a quick room tour for you, just in case anybody's interested in find a, you know, fairly cheap, basic hotel in Rome. It's, it's done us very well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we are gonna head to bed because we have got an early start tomorrow as we head back to Bristol. We've enjoyed our time in Rome, but I think we're ready to go home now, back to the cooler temperatures back in the UK. Um, the reason we picked October, mainly because it's our birthday trip, so it was gonna be October, but because we just thought we didn't want the crowds or the heat of the summer 
but our tour guide yesterday informed us that high season is April to October and so and also she did say that since Covid that and people not being able to travel at that point people are just traveling all year so there's no real high or low season anymore it's just constant all year long but we've had a fantastic trip we thoroughly enjoyed our trip and our couple of days away um yeah and it's been so nice seeing everything so we have enjoyed ourselves but we're ready to go home so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the morning for travel home day Good morning, it is quarter past six and we are up and we are ready to head back to the airport to go home. So first up we need to check out and then we need to head over to the railway station, get our tickets and then board the train to the airport. It's a direct train, it takes about half an hour. We just need to find the right ticket machine and validate our ticket. So. Go, I'm ready to go home. Security is downstairs. It was just a bag in a box. Very happy. So let's go and find something to eat. Breakfast is a salami and cheese. Bagel. Already know it's delayed. So where is it? Signed at 9.15. Yeah. Right, let's go find somewhere to sit. Very nice seats. We're gonna go the Delta flight in front of us. And just watch this one come in. when the flight's due it, you then got to go half an hour. Um, We're just plain spotting. Bye, Delta. Thank you. 